Yes. Okay. So since we have, you know, a bit of less time, I'm going to cover four uh, important product management frameworks. Okay. Sure. So before, uh, you know, jumping into the actual product management frameworks, let us understand what are frameworks. Okay. So frameworks uh, usually help you to solve a problem or to help you define something. Okay. It is like a template or a process. Okay. It is not something that you need to apply and, uh, you know, it is not uh, something that, uh, you know, is a compulsion, compulsion, but it's more like a tool and something to help you out. Okay. And frameworks can be used in uh, real life situations and in non-PM related roles as well. Not just in PM roles, but in non-PM roles and any of the real life situations, but, uh, let it be your personal life or anything, right? And, uh, you know, according to these use cases, you can actually modify it. You can personalize these frameworks. So uh, if, you know, uh, there is a definition of a particular framework, it is not mandatory that you need to follow it step by step. Okay. Maybe your situation is different. Your use case is different. So you can easily modify these frameworks according to your uh, situation. And using frameworks does not really mean, you know, uh, your success will be guaranteed. It depends on how you are using it. And it is just a tool to help you out. Okay. Always remember that, you know, your product sense, your work experience and your skill sets are always more than these frameworks. These frameworks are just uh, something that, you know, it will help you in landing a role. And it will help you mainly after you land the role and you are trying to implement something as a product manager, th these, these frameworks are going to help you out. And you can obviously make your own framework. I would tell a perfect example of creating your own framework is Spotify. Spotify has created its own framework. And uh, even Amazon has created its own framework. Almost every uh, product company out there has product managers who have built their own frameworks. Because it is uh, more you know, suitable for their use case, for their company's use case, right? Okay. But, you know, we can learn from them and we can use their frameworks in our uh, use cases as well. Obviously modified again. Okay. So this is what I wanted to clear about frameworks. So the four frameworks that we'll be discussing today are North Star Metric, Jobs to be Done, Minimum, minimum Viable Product, and Amazon's Working Backwards. Okay. The two are like, my most fam favorite of these are jobs to be done and Amazon's working backwards. You'll understand shortly why. So let us understand what are those. Okay. And in between, if you people find that, you know, these are hard to understand and you feel that these are jargons or difficult words to understand, please stop me. I'll try to, uh, you know, make them simple and try to explain. Okay. So first is the North Star metric. So North Star metric is uh, to define the uh, success for product team in a company. So by success, what I mean is that every company has its own goal, right? So this is what they want to achieve. Okay. For uh, example, um, so you can say that, you know, on the long run, what the company is trying to achieve, what is their definition of success? That is what this North Star metric is. It is not just about a company, but even it could be for a person, right? For example, uh, Harshita wants to become a CEO of Google one day, right? Her North Star metric will be to become a CEO of Google one day. So everything that she does now will be based on that, right? So whatever her activities are, will be aimed towards that, right? So that is a North Star metric of a company. So whatever they do, whatever they build, whatever they do in a day-to-day -day basis will be built around this. Okay. So this will also help to bring clarity and team alignment. The, you know, the people in the company, they'll understand, okay, for this reason, we are doing this. They should understand that, right? So if you're just working aimlessly, there is no point in working, right? So you need to work towards something. So this is what it is. The North Star metric is uh, what defines uh, that key measure of success. Okay. And it can be short term and long term. For example, um, Harshita wants to become a Google CEO. That is a long term goal. But maybe her short term goal is getting an internship in a product based company. 
right so that will be her short term north north star metric right so that uh, so similarly for companies also they have the long and short term metrics and one more thing about north star metric uh, there needn't be only one north star metric there can be more than one okay so probably you know uh, harshita wants to become a ceo in a uh, product based company so it can be in google or it can be in microsoft or any product based company right and the two main parts of north star metric are product vision statement and current product strategy key metric again these are uh, like you know high level terms you might not understand it so let me break it down for you product vision uh, is uh, you know again wh what is the vision of that company what are they trying to achieve uh, so that that is the product vision okay and um, current product strategy key metric so currently whatever they're doing for that particular product what is the main thing they want to achieve right so these two parts mainly form the north star metric uh, i would suggest uh, that you know you people uh, google north star metric and learn about it more then you'll understand even better because we have limited time right so i just want to give an idea about all these four frameworks right now so to make you understand even better Uh, some possible use cases for netflix okay attention game for netflix what does netflix aim netflix aims that you know the user spends these th this much time these many hours of their time on netflix that is their north star metric okay coming to amazon these many uh, customers need to make these many transactions that is their north star metric they might have some number we don't know that maybe uh, 10 billion transactions per day they have that in their head that will be a short term long term uh, i mean short term north star metric or maybe you know on the long term they want to make some trillions of uh, transaction that will be the long long term north star metric salesforce salesforce is an administrative tool so they want to generate productivity so that will be their north star metric right so do you have any questions about north star metric i mean obviously this is a huge thing uh, you pro probably need to learn about this more but any questions perfectly nice because uh, yeah very aptly they are defined in just two words uh, attention game for netflix and transaction game amazon so perfect yeah yeah one more thing i wanted to mention about frameworks to make you understand okay this particular slide over here is also a framework how if you go to the next slide all of these have a similar pattern okay so i have built a template or a framework to uh, define these frameworks okay so a framework could be anything okay so that is what i wanted to convey here by telling you this so a framework you can build your own framework also okay so it's not anything difficult that you can't learn a framework is a simple tool that you know will help you okay so the next framework i'll be talking about is jobs to be done okay so when you're talking about employees in a company okay everyone has their own roles and they are given particular jobs to be done in a particular day okay a janitor in a school or a college what what is a janitor's role cleaning up stuff uh, maintaining the sanity right so similarly for a product also there are jobs to be done so these jobs to be done will be centered about uh, around the customer okay what the customer wants the product to be uh, to do okay for example you have a laptop the laptop is a product okay you are the customer so what do you want the laptop to do You want the laptop to you know help you finish tasks and uh, help you see movies help you code things out uh, help you do anything that is possible digitally okay so that is the jobs to be done for a laptop okay mm. yeah similarly if you take uh, the example of a notebook okay perfect example i'll give you so if you want to take the example of a notebook what do you want the notebook to do you want the notebook to help you take notes right um i'll tell you this just give me a second there is actually 
another framework for this framework i'll tell you that give me a second okay so uh, when see these are the parts of the jobs to be done right so yeah. the first part is when when is uh, is the situation okay i want to is your motivation what you want to do so i can so i'll give you a perfect example for this when i am attending a workshop okay you are attending a workshop right now right when i am attending a workshop i want to take notes so i can refer back to it later okay so mm. this is a jobs to be done sentence for what it is for a notebook right yeah so this is a customer talking about a jobs to be done and this job to be done can be done by a notebook or maybe a document whatever you want to choose right so go ahead and think about uh, some product can anyone give me an example and talk about this particular sentence here any product of your choice senior can you repeat the sentence okay let me repeat again when i am attending a workshop when is the situation when i am attending a workshop i want to take notes that is the motivation so i can what is the expected outcome you want to hear why do you want to take notes you basically want to take notes so that you can refer back to it later that is the expected outcome so when i am attending a workshop i want to take notes so i can refer back to it later that will be a jobs to be done sentence for a notebook right yes senior yeah uh, so can, can I... anybody yeah yeah sure go ahead uh when i'm working out i want to know how many calories i have burned so that i can uh, track my progress okay so this will be a jobs to be done statement for a watch or something yeah a smart watch or a smart band right anyone else who can give me a statement like this for any of the for any of the products or anything it could be a favorite app also okay let's talk about whatsapp okay so can anyone give me a jobs to be done statement for whatsapp when i know about the notes and uh, chat then i'll be going to whatsapp when can you repeat that when i want to chat or uh, know about the uh, syllabus or uh, notes uh, uh, will be going to whatsapp right yeah but not quite right you have missed out when and i want to shouldn't be clubbed when 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 are you doing that when you have missed a class maybe when i have missed a class i want to refer to the notes so that i can catch up with the ongoings maybe right yes that will be for whatsapp yeah so you need to define each of these parts properly you shouldn't merge them right okay yeah um any other jobs to be done uh, i mean uh, whatsapp has multiple jobs to be done yeah coming to this a product can have multiple jobs to be done it need not have only one okay so this is one use case uh, that uh, yashishwita mentioned here there could be multiple use cases for whatsapp and there could be multiple jobs to be done statements so can anyone tell me another jobs to be done statement for whatsapp anyone 
when i want to video chat with uh, my sister in another city i want to do video call in whatsapp uh again you have missed these points here go uh, part by part when what i mean when situation i want to situation so i can outcome you can rephrase that try rephrasing that when i wanted to uh, see my sister's dress then we did video call with each other through whatsapp um not quite right can anyone help her in making it better okay uh, when i miss my sister uh, i want to video call her through whatsapp so that i can uh, connect with her much better okay yeah that's better one thing i want to tell her when you're talking about jobs to be done you shouldn't mention the product okay because customers okay. are not going to talk about the product they're just going to talk about the problems oh okay. looking at the problems we're going to correlate it, correlate them and build features for the product now whatsapp might not have video call at the beginning right looking at the jobs to be done statements of the customers that you know they want to video chat and all this they must have built this feature okay it's not the other way around okay yeah uh anyone else one more uh, jobs to be done statement for whatsapp anyone else other than these two people i i i see only both of you doing you're doing great but i want others also to you know pay attention here anyone else who wants to give it a try you can be wrong that's not that's not a problem that's how you learn right but anyone else who wants to give it a try need not be whatsapp it you can choose your own uh, favorite product as well okay all right um okay let's move to the next one uh, so again i want to say that you know possible use cases are you know the uh, central core of a product and you know defining the job of a potential feature it need not be about the whole product but about a particular feature as well and you know this this is what helps product managers to eliminate guessing games more like you look at the statements of uh, the customers the, the customers might not uh, you know talk in this particular terms because they don't know right this particular uh, you know term but when you're looking at the problems and their feedback you can restructure it in this way and then you can define the jobs to be done right any questions uh, around this framework generally how do they collect uh, these jobs to be done statements do they do any survey how do uh, product ma product managers or uh, user researchers do this yeah so when you're doing research you can have multiple platforms right whether you do surveys or you do customer interviews customers are not going to talk to you in these uh, statements sir. they are going to give you raw data they are going to talk about their thoughts and what problems they are facing right so whatever data you get right from all these surveys and interviews and whatever it is you gather them and the particular way that i gathered research was to screen recordings in my particular uh, you know company that i am interning through the screen recordings whatever i had observed i had gathered research from there as well so there could be multiple ways of research okay so that those things you can restructure with these frameworks this jobs to be done framework and you can write these uh, customer statements using that right so when you uh, for example someone tells that uh, you uh, i am unable to uh video call people i want to talk to people i am unable to video call they're not talking in these statements but then you restructure them when i miss someone i want to video call them so i can uh you know catch up with them right you are restructuring it customers want okay okay nice yeah any other questions around this framework Okay, I think we can move on to the next one. So, now, so the next one is minimum viable product. So when you're talking about minimum viable product, I think that the gamers here would think that MVP refers to most valuable player. <laughs> But yeah, coming to a product, minimum viable pr uh, product uh, is the most valuable player here. Okay. So what does it mean is that you know you build an early product which is not very polished. 
and you uh, release the necessary features just to test out and see what the market says. Okay. For example, when WhatsApp started out new, right? They, have, they just released a chat feature where you can just talk to your contacts. There was nothing else, right? So when they gen they saw that you know the uh, market uh, demand is really good and people have started uh, downloading it on all that they started polishing it they started making it better with less bugs uh, they started introducing more features and all that right so a minimum viable product is the minimum features that you can give uh, but I would like to rephrase this minimum viable product to most valued product okay. So even when you're creating a minimum valuable product, don't just give a scrapped out product that is very buggy and people would hate to use, but don't make it really polished as well. Just, you know, put the unnecessary features and uh, make it, you know, good enough for people to enjoy it, right? So that is what I would say. Even if you are doing a hackathon or you're building a college project as well, try to make a minimum viable product. Who knows, it might turn out to be a startup for you in the future, right? So possible use cases coming to minimum viable product is, you know, college project uh, turned to a startup. I've seen many people do that, product managers and uh, CEOs and founders of companies. And um, I'll give you another example of minimum viable product, Airbnb. How many of you know about Airbnb? Anyone who knows about Airbnb? No idea, senior. Okay, so Airbnb is similar to OYO. Okay, they rent out rooms, but these are not hotels or lodges, but they are uh, apartments and houses. Okay, so they give these out for a day or two. Okay, Airbnb. It's very popular in the US and it's catching up in India as well and uh, other countries abroad as well. So it is very popular right now, but when Airbnb started, right? The Airbnb's founder started renting out uh, his own apartment. This is not traditional rent, okay? They can even rent it out for a day or two or one night also. It's similar to hotel, but uh, it's houses and apartments, right? So people can have more privacy and they can do their own thing and all. So when Airbnb started, they rented out their own apartment. So that was a minimum viable product. Facebook, when Facebook was started, uh, I hope everyone knows about Facebook here. Yeah. Yeah, anyone who doesn't know Facebook. Okay, everyone knows Facebook. So when Facebook started out, it was not known by everyone. Mark Zuckerberg started uh, Facebook only for Harvard students. He was a Harvard student, right? So it was for the Harvard students to connect with each other. That's how uh, Facebook was started. But he saw that, you know, the market is catching up. People, other people also have signed, started signing up and all. So that's how Facebook became worldwide popular and he also dropped out of Harvard and all that. So that is what an MVP is. Any questions about MVP? And I'm telling you, you can even create an MVP sitting for, you know, one day and creating a product, you can create an MVP. And an MVP can be a simple Google Sheet also. And I'm telling you the company that I'm working for, ThoughtFlow, right? The CEO's MVP was a LinkedIn post. It was just an idea that he had sent on LinkedIn and it went completely viral and he started building that product. Okay. So an MVP could be anything. It could be your own definition of a product. Okay. So any questions uh, around MVP? No, I guess. Okay, so you people understood, right, what an MVP is? Yeah. Okay. Um, can anyone give me an uh, example? Um, you're right, trying to write an essay, okay? Trying to write a world-class essay which should... Okay, let's say you're trying to write a book, okay? It, it needs to become a bestseller. So what would be a good MVP for this book? Can anyone tell me? Anything you can be wrong, it's all right. And you know, you have your own perceptions, it could be different. Maybe uh, on the trending journals. Mm, okay. Anything else? Mm. 
getting the novel recommended by famous authors uh okay let me get the question straight again i am telling that you are trying to write a best selling uh, book maybe you are trying to write a best selling book on product management okay so what will be your mvp on that mvp for this okay um let's say uh, you have uh, written a google doc a short 100 uh, paragraph uh, summary about the product saying what all you want to say and you have released it to public uh, uh, on linkedin okay and that goes viral that will be your mvp for a best selling book okay it could be as simple as that okay maybe uh, bookmarks of all the sites that you have uh... learned from learned about product management probably yeah that could be one yeah those are the use cases i mean what all things you can do for that i meant what what is the aspect that you are going to build it on yeah so it could be anything it could be a 100 word uh, paragraph also so that's what i wanted to convey right um okay if you don't have any any questions on this let's move to the next one i think our time is also up let's uh, wrap this up quickly so yeah this is the uh, this is one thing that i would like to convey about minimum viable product so it's not about uh, you know you give a wheel to someone and then two wheels and then you build the car at last so this is not how a product should be you build the skater board first okay you release it out to the public you see how it is you give a handle to the skater board it's even better you build a cycle after that it's even better you build a motorcycle and then you give a car right so that is what a minimum viable product is it's not just you know releasing one thing at one at a time right yeah nice so i hope this makes sense right this is a very popular diagram uh the author of lean startup eric rice he had introduced this term minimum viable product and uh, he had given this example as well so the last framework that we're going to discuss today it is amazon's working backwards it's one of my most frame, uh, favorite frame, uh, frameworks as well so what it does is that when you're building a pro, uh, feature right you first create a press release okay that when you're talking to the press or you're uh, making a public announcement about the product what are you going to talk about it right you create that document first you're not going to release it but you're just going to create that document okay and then looking at this document because this document is going to uh, keep all the things that a customer would want right you're showing it to you, you would want to show it to a customer right so based on this press release you're going to go back and define the product features and then you build the product so what happens is that a lot of ambiguity is removed and a lot of unnecessary stuff is removed from here right so it gives you a lot of gut check and uh, this press release document whatever you make it it sort of creates a guide you want to do this for doing this what features you want to build right so that that is what it's going to define and it's going to be customer centric because the uh, the press release is basically a customer's point of view you're talking to a customer you're talk, telling a customer this is what it is right so from that you're building the features so it's working backwards as the name says right and this working backwards can be used in anything any aspect of your life as well to be honest for example uh, you want to become a billionaire okay if five years down the line you want to become a billionaire i want to become a billionaire i want to have this five five story building of my own and all that you you start creating a press release for yourself okay from that you start uh, working backwards and start defining your goals ambitions and what all things you need you, you need to start doing to actually reach that right so this particular framework can be used in any life situation other than uh, product management as well right so coming to product management suppose uh, you are trying to you know build the video calling feature for uh, whatsapp okay you will create a press uh, release uh, first uh, so this video calling feature you can talk to your people i mean you can talk to the people living uh, in a long distance you can do group calls and you will do all that release list you'll make based on that you'll define the features and then you'll build the product right so this is what amazon's working backwards is okay 
So basically, the parts are this way: uh, you have to first draft a press release, and then you need to evaluate option D. Uh, is is you know this is really popular? Is is this going to work in the market? Right. And then you need to see that okay, this has good option D. So what kind of features? What kind of solutions we can build? And then you build a roadmap, and then you start building the product. Right. So this is what Amazon's working backwards is. Uh, yeah, any questions? Uh, did, did you understand this? Amazon's working backwards. It's a beautiful framework, actually. Nothing but uh, reverse engineering, right? Sort of, yeah. Sort of reverse engineering, but reverse engineering is more like the product is already built, and you're trying to understand what it is. But uh, this is you're not. We have not built anything. You're just creating a scenario where you have built everything, and you're trying to make a press release. And from that, you are trying to define things, and you're starting to build. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Hope it makes sense. Okay. So, any questions about any of the frameworks or anything? Hope it was not too much. Uh, if it is, you know, try to Google each of them and learn more about it. Uh, maybe you'll get clarity because these are not something you can digest in one day. Each framework takes a few hours to understand, and and mostly these frameworks uh, are more understandable when you start applying them. Right. So, yeah. any questions, anyone? No senior. Oh, I guess. Yeah. Okay. So, um, uh, the session yeah. has been great. And I think many will regret after watching the recording because it has been like a mini boot camp for all of us. And thank you, Didi, for giving this session. Yeah, sure. Okay. I'm going to drop in some links with you people. If you, if any of you want uh, one to one calls with me, you can obviously. Can always book a session with me. I'm going to drop them in the chat box. Uh, where is the chat box? Um, we don't have a chat box on Bevy. Have a QA. and a Q and a Okay. Um, okay, I'll do one thing. I'll drop in those uh, in the WhatsApp group. Maybe you can uh, send it in the post event form, right? The yeah, sure, sure. resources. So I'm going to share the link where you can book a call with me, one to one call. And uh, also, the I have uh, written a blog on uh, 10 popular product management frameworks. You can also read, uh, read them if you know it might be useful for you. And uh, yeah, you can always connect with me on LinkedIn if you still haven't. Yeah, that's it. Any questions, uh, you can always reach out to me on LinkedIn, right? Thanks a lot, Didi. Yeah, thank, thank you, you for this opportunity. Have a great uh, weekend, everyone. Thank you. Have a great weekend, everybody. So uh, tomorrow, we'll be having a product uh, management session by uh, uh, Abhishek Datta, who is a uh, founder of Team Co-Design. So please attend for that. And also motivate your friends to join because uh, uh, you know, we have come up with this uh, product management series uh, in this weekend, mainly to spread among awareness among students, you know, that, hey, you know, there is a role in corporate called product manager. So we hope we are helping out this community. So do spread, uh, share these links to your friends as well. Okay, have a great day. Bye.